Hey there everybody! I'm going to be teaching you in this tutorial how to add uh, pattern cutouts to flower petals in Cricut Design Space. So typically I design all of my templates that I share with you guys or I sell in my shops um, in a graphic design software called Inkscape, but um, there are things you can do inside of Cricut Design Space that can allow you to customize um, existing templates. So I wanted to show you this cool trick and this is going to involve using our slice tool and our weld tool and then we're going to be layering these um, patterns on top of a solid petal background and this can be a really cool way to um, add some detail to a flower template that you might want to use maybe for like a party or a special occasion that maybe has a theme. So like this one here is a mermaid scales and this one's a polka dot. So you know maybe the polka dot would be for like a, a mini mouse party or the you know the mermaid will be for like an under the sea party. So you can do this with any type of pattern ultimately. Um, there's lots of different uh, combinations of how you can make it happen. I'm just going to show you these simple patterns here and um, you will need to of course have a flower template uh, pattern already and you will need to have a pattern in mind that you want to actually cut out of the flower petal itself um, but you can bring all of that in via the upload button and there's a whole post on this um, video linked below the video here and I give you details um, if you want to download one of my free flower templates on the blog and try it with um, that then you can do that as well so um, let's get started here these are uh, just a couple examples that I played around with and came up with and I'm going to show you the mermaid one today and the um, the polka dot one here is really easy obviously it's a very simplistic petal but over here in your design panel under shapes they have all these free shapes here that whether you have Cricut access or not, you can use these. So um, when I created the polka dot one, I just grabbed the circle shape and I just used that to create a polka dot pattern and then cut that out. So if you're interested in the polka dot pattern, just import a petal and then use the circle shape right here that is free in the shapes panel. So I'm gonna put this back and I'm gonna hide this off my screen. So that we can have plenty of space to work. Okay, so first things first, we need to import what we're gonna be working with. So I'm gonna go to my upload button. I've already uploaded my images into Design Space, but if you have not yet, you would just click this upload button right here. You browse your computer and you bring the SVG file in. So I'm gonna select these mermaid scales that I um, drew in my software, and I'm gonna give the mermaid scales and a polka dot pattern away for free on the blog. Um, so if you wanna practice with an existing pattern and you don't wanna have to create your own, um, then that's totally, you know, that'll be available to you so you can grab those on the blog. And I'm gonna click on view all and just search one of my flower templates here and I'm gonna bring these both in. So I need to resize these a little bit. <clears throat> now, one thing I wanna say first is, let's say for example, you wanna create your own pattern using the basic shapes in here. Um, I will show you real quick, just like kind of the simple way that I do that because I know some of you are gonna actually wanna know how to make the pattern itself and not just apply the pattern. Um, so let me just pull that circle in I was mentioning a minute ago. So all I do here, if you're making a pattern for your um, flower template yourself, I would start with something like a circle and I would just duplicate it a bunch of times. Let's pull these apart. So let's pull these apart a little bit more. They were kind of all stacked on top of each other so it didn't really work. All right, now let's select all those polka dots and let's align bottom and let's distribute them horizontally. Now we have a nice straight line of um, little circles here creating sort of a polka dot line. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to duplicate and I'm gonna bring those down here and I'm gonna sort of offset it. You see how I'm placing this line sort of in between the spaces of the line above it. And I'm just gonna do the same thing a few times. So this would be a very simple example of how you could create a pattern for yourself 
in Cricut Design Space. And it can be helpful to sort of look at the grid on the screen to like see if you're getting them evenly spaced. Um, generally, when you're dealing with a pattern, I don't like things to be completely absolute. I like there to be a mild variation in it so it doesn't look so mechanical. Um, but you can use your line and distribute tools if you want to be very exact about it as well. So that is exactly how I would create just a very simple pattern there. And then the, the most important part of this is you're going to want to weld this together. So once you're happy with the way your pattern looks, you have enough of the pattern that it's going to cover a petal, then you're going to want to select everything and you're going to want to weld it together so that it's just one piece. You can see in our layers panel, it changed from a bunch of circles to a welded result. So I just wanted to throw that in there real quick for those of you who want to like understand how to just sort of create a simple pattern on your screen, that's the step that you would do. So I'm going to get rid of this now and we're going to go back to talking about the mermaid ones. I already created this as a pattern inside of my graphic design software, but if for example I only had one of these mermaid scales, you could do exactly the same thing we just did with the polka dots. You could just create a line of them and then start building a pattern out like that. And when I imported these, you can see over here in my layers panel to the right that each one of these is individual. I can click on each one of these scales and move them freely from the others. So what that means is when we bring this petal over here, if we were to try to add this pattern now, and we were to select all that, you can see our slice tool is not available because the slice tool only works with two images at a time. So how do we make this um, be one image that Cricut recognizes as one image and not a bunch of little pieces. We weld it together. So what you want to do is if you ever bring a pattern in that has a lot of pieces like this and you're wanting to slice with it, you need to select the entire pattern of pieces here and then you need to go and click that weld button in the bottom of the layers panel and you'll see in just a second when I click on this how it's going to change from all these little individual pieces to one result there's our welded result at the top. So now it's one selected piece and my petal is one selected piece. Now when I bring these together, the slice tool will be usable because Cricut recognizes each of these as just one piece. There's spaces between these, but we welded it together so Cricut still recognizes it as one piece. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull this petal behind and I'm also gonna duplicate this. It's always a good idea to have a duplicate. Um, because we're going to create a frame around it as well, a little edged frame around this. Um, you don't have to do that part, you could leave it sort of freestyled, um, but I'm going to show you how to do that because most people want to know how to do that. Now my, um, my pattern here doesn't quite cover the top and the bottom, so I'm just going to actually expand this a little bit. Bring that right up the tippy top there. So. Now we have our pattern here on top of the petal, and I'm going to select both the pattern and the petal together. You can see down in our layers panel that the slice tool is functional and available for us to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that slice button. I'm going to start deleting that top layer. I'm going to pull this one off, and I'm going to pull this one off. And that one came out really nice. So here is the piece that we want to keep right here. I'm going to delete the rest of these pieces because I don't need them. This is the piece we want to focus on right here. And for example, let me change this color so you can see the contrast. If I were to pull this over and align it. You could already see that that um, pattern has taken shape on top of our petal. So we can see that it aligns very nicely and it's sliced really well. Now if you wanted to just leave it like this and you wanted to actually just cut that piece out as it is and glue it over the top, you could. But I'm going to show you um, a slightly easier way to cut this piece out because what happens is if you cut this out as is, there's really nothing holding it together around the edges here. So we want to create a little petal frame essentially. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to duplicate this base petal again. Just move it off to the side. It's just good to have a duplicate. Um, and then I'm going to put this back on top. We're going to align it center so everything is neatly stacked. 
And then I want you to select just the bottom blue petal here. You can select that individually by clicking on it in your layers panel. And I want you to unlock that petal using the little unlock icon and then start stretching it and making it just a little bit bigger. Click off and select both those pieces and then hit center again. You can sort of start to see a little framed edge around there. I want it to be just a little bit, a little bit bigger. Let me do that. Just a tiny bit bigger there. All right. Now I'm going to center it again. Okay, that looks like a decent edge that we have going around the petal there. Okay, so the next step here is going to be to do our slice tool again to sort of cut out that framed edge. So go ahead and pull this off. Grab that duplicate that you have. Let me change the color here so you can get a little bit more of a contrast. Um, let's just do pink, I guess. And you want to center this as well. So align it. And you can clearly see that framed edge that we created there around the petal. Now that blue piece, that blue petal that we made bigger, you need to duplicate that again because that's going to still need to be your background piece here when all is said and done. So I'm going to duplicate that and just set it down here. There's lots of duplications going on here, so it's good to just have extra copies. <laughs> um, so now you want to select both of those two petals together. Click that slice tool again and start pulling these pieces off. I'm going to delete that top one. I don't need it. I'm going to delete that center one. And we're left with this little frame outline here of our petal. Now bring that pattern back over. And then once you have everything centered and aligned, just go ahead and click that weld tool again in the bottom of the layers panel. And you can see that that little framed edge has now been welded to the pattern itself. And it just gives it a little bit of a finished edge and look um, to it. Now you can pull this base petal piece over. And you can center that with the pattern right on top. And there we go. Now we have a two layer petal that one piece is a pattern and one piece is a solid base and you could cut the the pattern piece out in cardstock and then use some glue to put it on um, i love using uh, heat transfer vinyl on top of my cardstock um, and i'll link an example of how i do that below um, this video so that could be a really cool option of adding some heat transfer vinyl on top of your petals so you don't have to worry about trying to glue things down and get everything perfectly aligned. Um, it's a lot easier to use heat transfer vinyl. So I think this could be a really cool concept. I think you could do like, um, I think it'd be really pretty if you did maybe a purple petal for this mermaid concept and then maybe you did like glitter heat transfer vinyl in gold or something like that I think that would be um, really pretty so that is the process that I use to create my um, pattern flower petals inside of Cricut Design Space typically I would do this in um, Inkscape and then just save everything and bring it in but for those of you who are not wanting to learn um, graphic software or are not graphic software savvy, then this is a great option um, where you can still customize some things. If you are interested in learning more about how to use Inkscape to create your own SVG files, I'm going to link um, a special program for you below that I have that you might enjoy. Um, so I really hope you enjoy this tutorial and then you would just go ahead and cut out these petals and build a beautiful flower. I'm going to link below also how I build a paper flower. Um, so you can see how it's actually done. So I think I'm going to actually make one of these as well, and I'll just show you kind of the result of how it turns out on the blog post. So be sure to visit that below, and you can also learn more about um, my free templates and my supplies that I would use to build paper flowers below this video as well. See you guys next time.